Today I'm visiting Saul Hill Market, which is this basically awesome food court with this aesthetic like a factory on the outside. Hi, I'm Will. I spent my 20s living in a boring area with not much to do. And so I decided to pack up and travel the world through Airbnbs while working a remote job. I was willing to do whatever it took to live a more fulfilling and enriching life. Join me on my adventure, turmoils, trials and tribulations. It definitely reminds me of uh, certain parts of Atlanta, uh, arguably parts of uh, New York, um, and uh, there's even a place in Oklahoma kind of like this, but let's check it out. Let's see how uh, New Mexico does it. So my first impressions of this place is it's actually a lot like uh, a place in Atlanta, you've seen it in my videos if you've been following. Um, there's a place in New York kind of like this, I think it's called the Chelsea Market. And um, I really only get this type of vibe, this kind of like indoor boardwalk uh, street slash food market vibe in certain major cities. So it's really nice to see it here um, at this level. I mean, it's, it's definitely very homey and you definitely get this kind of sense of like this like not too crazy, still kind of homely indoor market. So I find that really cool to see here. Um, there's like small things like this in Miami and New Orleans, but not to this scale. I think the closest I've seen to this is something in Atlanta or New York. So I wasn't expecting to see it here. Uh, this place does have um, a decent amount of restaurants, but nothing like too much. I would say probably 10 stores so we're gonna check it out and really uh, enjoy currently it seems like a lot of stores are not open yet because it's still like the late afternoon so I just uh, explore around check it out and so after an initial perusal of the area I found these prices here to be um, somewhat inflated compared to what you could probably get for a similar price outside of this area um, just locally based on my experience uh, which I'm not surprised about there's certain uh, venues like in New York where it's the same exact thing uh, if you want to order in this indoor food court prices are going to be a bit higher the quality may be better but that's what you're paying for so it's up to you clearly there's still a lot of people who choose to eat here so that's you know up to your choice I realize I have such a unique perspective uh, having traveled so much that I can kind of cross-reference all these similar indoor food courts and kind of get a gauge on the differences, the similarities, the trade-offs. Um, it's just one of those small things that I, I'm grateful to be able to do. So I would rate this as up there in terms of the uh, indoor food courts that I've ever seen that has this kind of loungy feel to it. Um, once again, the only trade-off is the prices are a little bit higher, but... All right, I decided to get the entree at this place called Cacho's. Reason being is because uh, it's the most mentioned thing in the reviews of Sawmill or Sawhill. So I figured when in Rome, might as well try it out. It seems to be um, a lot of positive reviews for this thing and we'll see how it goes. Um... All right, let's try it out now. Portion sizes aren't the greatest since, as you can tell, it only takes up about half the tray, but this is definitely the biggest item. And this is pretty uh, substantial. It's probably about palm size. So let's check this out. Uh, this is the, uh, I think it's called the Arepa. I think it's uh, one of my first times trying this. I think I had one in uh, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Better than the one I had in San Antonio. The ingredients are fresher. 
there's more of them. It's really good. It, the outside's really crispy, and then you got the meat inside with the peppers. Now you get two sides with this. Let's check out the first side I get, which was rice. That's basically just rice and uh, some peas inside. Um, you also get some cabbage salad, so let's try that out. Not bad. It's basically um, coleslaw with some uh, lettuce and a little bit of jalapeno. Not bad. I think the real draw here is the arepa. Um, solid.